Okay, we want to try to finally add some cams in here and see if we can get this thing to function. So we're gonna um, we're gonna place a cam. Let's just start with a the hex hex cam. Okay, um, and uh, let's see. You'll notice um, that I have on the hex cam, I have uh, the a mid plane on it and uh, another plane that I've turned on on it. So it's kind of help gonna help me uh, know what to constrain to together here on some of this stuff. Okay. Um, First thing I think I want to do is um, I want to uh, um, let's let's get this cam underneath this uh, follower right here. So what I can do is I can do a constraint and I can take this plane here and this plane on the follower. If I can get in there and make sure I get it and uh, um, put that in there. Okay. All right. So we can move this around a little bit. We want to um, then try to get this uh, axle through here. So um, we can take, let's just do an inside. inside surface here and any one of these surfaces here first of all apply that okay all right um, let's uh, think what we're gonna have to do here to make this easier on us is we're gonna have to come up to the box Right click on the box. I'll get out of the constraints here. Right click on the box assembly and turn off the visibility. Okay? So we can move this around here and, and get uh, some other places locked in. Um, let's. Let's move this axle down and constrain. The top with that one, apply that. Okay. I think, let's see, is this, yeah, this axle is constrained. I can't move it side to side, and when I turn it around, the whole axle is spinning. Okay, that's good. Um, and what we can also do then is we'll do another constraint. It's called a transitional constraint. We get the underneath side of this and one of these uh, faces. Apply that. Okay, that's good. So now, what should happen is when I turn this crank, the follower is going to go up and down. And it's going to ride along the uh, the cam. All right. Let's put another one in. Uh, place. Let's get a. Let's do. Where's the pair cam? Let's put in a pair cam. Okay. Let's see. Let's. Constrain, and we'll do the uh, well, 
up, we're going to do this plane and that plane. Uh-oh. Don't think I did. Did I grab the wrong plane? Okay, undo that one. Constrain. Uh, let's see, we want, yeah, we want, um, yeah, we want this plane, that plane, and that plane. Yeah. Okay. Apply that. All right. Uh, let's get a, let's just do one of these faces. Um, let's get, let's get this one. And this one, top face. There we go. Apply that. And then this one. And can I get around and see the other side? Can I get in there? Right there. Apply. Okay. Uh, I think that's pretty good, except for we don't have, we need the transitional constraint. So, one more constraint. We're going to get the transitional tab. We get this surface and this. Apply it. And now, should be able to turn this. Whoop. And now we have two cam followers. Let's uh, go back to the box. Um, where's visibility? Visibility, visibility, visibility. Alt V. Actually, all I have to do is have to click Alt V. I should remember that. Um, let's zoom out a little bit here. Let's see what it looks like in here. So, I crank this, and the followers are going up and down. Let's get to the bottom so we can see. There we go. So you're going to have some other parts that you're going to make, which somehow are going to be attached up here on the top. You'll have to assemble them in here too, so that they are kind of interact with each other as uh, these cams are uh, going up and down and doing that different motion. So there we go.